guys, what's it going to be? FIFA 11 or Pro Evolution Soccer? Are you Pez? Are you FIFA? Can you be changed? That's going to be the big question. Okay, first up it's FIFA 11 and as you can see it's the Adidas Jabroni football that they used in the World Cup. And we've got Frank Lampard stepping up to take a free kick and if he misses it really is a true representation of a game of football. Oh, Frank, that was a bad miss. Well, I've started all right, and I've picked up the controls quite easily, and it looks like a good game of football. So let's see how it goes. I can't believe I missed that, that was an absolute sitter. Well the keeper should get that. Oh, what's going on here? So not only does FIFA 11 play really well, but it looks amazing. Just little details like when you score a goal, all the rest of your players smile. Go on Ashley, give us a smile. Aw, oh, isn't he cute? So with FIFA 11, EA have gone for attention to detail. All the fancy haircuts look fantastic, the texture of the skin, different textures for different materials on the football shirts, the boots, and then the texture of the football as well, individual blades of grass, it's all fantastic. But has all this attention to detail lost track of the actual football game itself? You see, when you develop a computer game, you develop it on a budget which only allows you to focus your time and energy on certain areas. One ace FIFA 11 has got up its sleeve over Pro Evolution Soccer is this be a pro goalkeeper game mode where you get to control the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper only. This for me is the highlight of FIFA 11 and it's definitely a feature that makes me want to go out there and buy the game. One thing you do learn about being a goalkeeper in the B a Pro Goalkeeper game mode of FIFA 11 is not to get too cocky. All this happens. Next up we've got Pro Evolution Soccer 2011. It's very similar to the previous game in terms of graphics but it is very different in terms of gameplay. In fact, when I first picked it up, I thought it was rock hard. In fact, I thought it was terrible and I didn't like it and I was favoring FIFA. But when we got playing and when we got good at it, we actually started having a lot of fun in the office playing this game, as you can see.
Kick it! One thing I did notice about Pro Evolution Soccer in terms of graphics, which was better than FIFA, was that the guys on the pitch didn't seem to just sort of ghost through each other. They seemed to connect really well. One bad point about Pro Evolution Soccer is sometimes on the replays it totally misses the ball and you can't even see where it is. Look at this one. Guys, we played both the games and we come to a decision. It's not a solid yes or no on which one you should go for, but if you haven't got a lot of time and you just want a bit of fun, I think FIFA is the way to go because it gets you involved straight away. There's lots of good online modes you can play and it's extremely detailed, a lot more detailed than the Pro Evolution Soccer. But if you've got a lot of time to spare, and you really want to get involved in a fantastic football game I think as time goes on as you get better at it Pro Evolution Soccer is still slightly better not in terms of graphics but in terms of the overall simulation of a football match so guys it's up to you it doesn't matter which one you get because they're both fantastic in different ways if you're a bit of a nerd like me and you like to see someone who's put a really good effort into making things visually beautiful and get yourself FIFA. If you're a bit of a football geek and you like a good football simulation then you want Pro Evolution Soccer. It doesn't matter which one you buy but if you pre-order Pro Evolution Soccer using the link below you'll get a special price. One of the cheapest in the UK and that's just for pre-orders only. So get them in quickly. So guys, happy gaming. Follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. All at Malarkey. Subscribe. Get your messages down below. Do what you like. But just make sure you blooming well do it. And I'll see you next time for another review from Malcolm the Geek. Take care. Be on your best behaviour. And make sure your room is tidy. Okay guys, you should know what to do by now. Click the button at the top right hand corner to subscribe. Click the big button on the left to see more from GameSeek TV. Click the button on the right to see more from me, the geek. And you can also go to twitter.com forward slash GameSeek to follow us there. Or facebook.com forward slash GameSeek to like us there. And we'll keep you up to date with all the latest releases, videos and competitions. And also what I've done at the end of this video, I've put together a little collage of my favourite replays from FIFA 11. Just because the graphics were so good. So feast your eyes to some spectacular computer gaming and I'll see you next time.